Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. Look, I've got a guest. This is my sister-in-law. She is visiting for the weekend along with my in-laws because it's my mother-in-law's birthday. Happy birthday, Carol. Happy birthday, mom. So she's come to visit with her kiddos. They're upstairs with the dads and grandpa and grandma and the dogs and they're on quiet duty. So they have to keep the kids and the dogs quiet while we record a video down here. So my sister-in-law, who's actually born six days after me, so we're actually the same age. Isn't that great? She's the sister I never had but always wanted, right? And we're actually the same age. So we are going to be doing some paintings tonight. But before I get started to that, I wanted to show you guys the results of my last Valentine's pour piece. It actually dried in about a day, almost just under two days. So things are drying quickly here in the new studio, which has me very, very excited because it's really great that these things are drying super quick. But then I also want to show you some awesome paintings that my sister-in-law does. So she's actually really amazing at portraits. Oh, I should show her, I should show them your painting, see? Uh -huh. the, yeah. Yeah, she did a great wedding portrait of my husband, Matt and I for our wedding days. I'm actually just looking at it. It's on the end of the wall back there. So I'll show that to you guys, but I wanted to show you this cute little painting she did for her mom. Um, and she did this, what kind of flower is this? Uh, it's a peony. It's a peony. So I told her to make me an orchid. So for those of you who saw my last video and my Instagram posts, I had the beautiful blue and purple orchids. And uh, thank you, Linny, for sending me a PayPal donation so that I may go and buy the pink orchid. So now I have all three. So I've told Melissa over here, um, to make me a, an orchid like this. So if anyone is interested in some beautiful flowers, maybe a rose, hydrangea, whatever you want, um, she can do these beautiful paintings for you. Um, but I'm also here gonna put up on the screen while I'm jibber jabbering a lot of her other artwork. And then I'm gonna put her social media credentials in the description below. You can find her on Instagram at Melissa Siraco Art and as well on Facebook. So if you are on those platforms, head on over and go and follow and uh, follow her pages. Uh, we would appreciate it. And if you are a new follower, don't forget to subscribe and like to my YouTube channel. So I think that's it. Lucas's train table has been set up. Um, Grandpa and Daddy put the table together about an hour ago. So that is ready to go. And Lucas and I are going to spend some time putting the tracks on and getting everything ready again. So you should be seeing a video from Lucas very, very soon. Uh, oh, let me show you my dried painting. I talked about it, but I didn't show it to you. So here is the heart. She has dried beautifully. Now it's just going to get a top coat of crystal resin. Look, that is the iridescent violet blue by Pebeo. So that is gorgeous. And the shimmer on this is very nice as well. So this is a 20 by 20 inch canvas. If you are interested in this piece, you know what to do. Email me at canelasiraco at gmail.com. And if you are interested to get in touch with Melissa regarding uh, maybe a nice little flower painting, what's your email? Melissa Siraco at hotmail.com. There you go. So Melissa Siraco at hotmail.com. I'll put it right down here at the bottom. For those of you who are interested in a little cute painting like that, she could do it in a bigger size. You know, commissions are welcome. So email us if you're interested in anything. So we are going to be working on some Dutch pours today. We're gonna get ourselves set up. I'm gonna bring you guys down and we're gonna get started. See you in a bit. All right, everybody. So I'm back. Actually, I wonder. So I've got a camera here on my painting and then I've got a separate camera on Melissa's painting. So you're not gonna miss any of that. Um, I will just do this with my one camera and then I will edit the other portion when Melissa gets started on her painting. So what I have here is a uh, 16 by 20 inch canvas and Melissa is going to be working on a 16 by 16 inch canvas. And I'm going to get started by just quickly telling you the paint colors we're going to be using for today. So my base paint is going to be the Amsterdam titanium white it's just in a different bottle because i like to pre-mix my paint so i'm using amsterdam titanium white as the base and then the colors i'm going to be using are going to i'm going to start off with iridescent green yellow by pebeo 
Then we have Pearl Royal Purple by Arteza, followed by Blue Black Indigo by Atelier. Then we have a Primary but Magenta by Windsor and Newton. And then topping it off, I'm going to do Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. So those are my colors. I'm going to be using my Flower Hair Dryer by Drew Barrymore. A lot of people are still asking me where I got it. It is from the U.S. It was given to me by a viewer. At, you can find it at walmart.com. I'm sure there's other avenues you can find it in. I don't know where, but that is from Walmart. So those are the colors I'm going to be using. And Melissa has decided to do a southwestern themed color palette so she's going to start off with van dyke brown by amsterdam then we have iridescent blue black by pebeo then she's going to do 24 uh 24 karat gold is supposed to be in my painting too i let her borrow it <laughs> so 24 karat is going to be in my piece as well so 24 karat gold by deco art and then we have Pearl Glacier Blue by Arteza. And then topping it off, we've got Pearl Strawberry Red by Arteza. So those are the colors she's going to be using. So we're going to put these back, leave a gap for the gold because I'm going to borrow it first. And I'm going to, we're going to flood our canvases and we'll be right back. Alright, so we are ready to go. I've flooded my canvas. Melissa has flooded hers. And so today's composition I'm going to be doing is uh, something different. I haven't tried this one before and I really like the way I blew out the heart. Um, if you hear noises in the background, that is my husband and father-in-law uh, installing a new vanity for Sophia in her bathroom which I will show you guys um, a tour of the upstairs. You guys have seen the basement, you've seen the main floor. We'll do an upstairs down the road. But anywho, that's the noises you're hearing, if you can hear them. So I'm going to be doing um, just two oval lines here, and I'm going to blow them out the same way I blew out the heart. I'm just literally going to start on one end, and I'm going to blow down, and I'm going to start on this end, and I'm going to blow up, and I'm going to do it that way. So I'm going to start adding my colors. There's going to be no wispies to this one, just these oval shaped lines. That is it. So there we go. And I've decided to do a rainbow color type theme here. Just blow it all out and see what happens. It might work, it might not. That's what I thought about when I was doing the heart. I didn't know how I was going to blow it out, but it seemed to have worked pretty well. So and there we go pass that over because she's going to be using that and then i always have a blockage with this atelier i tell you oh i think there's a goober in there i got a paint boogie there we go let me just see if that was a booger no it's an air bubble even better all right Let's do the magenta. Okay. And I haven't used metallic cobalt blue in a long time. So I thought I'd use it today and put it on the top. It's such a nice color. It's a beautiful color. One of my all time favorites and first colors I ever purchased when I started this. All right, let's pop the bubbles. All right, so I'm going to go in different directions. So I'm going to start up here and blow it down. And then I'm going to go from here and blow it up. And we shall see what happens. So let's go. Yeah. 
is not bad. It's not bad. I'm going to have to fidget with my bottoms here. So I don't know. I don't know. I like the color combo. I do like the color combo too. And there's definitely a lot of cells forming in here, but I might have to fidget with it a bit. I'm definitely going to have to blow my bottoms here and here, or the top and the bottom. So let me just... So we'll do that. I don't know if I like that anymore, but okay. And then I got to kind of scooch my way over here. See what I can do. So I think I'm going to leave it actually. And I don't think I'm going to touch anything else on this. There are some really interesting cells that have come about here, but I tell you, there's going to be some serious shimmer when we turn the lights off. Um, I do like the color palette, and this green is really popping. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Especially I like it. Especially with the magenta. The magenta, yeah. It's looking good, and you're, you're going to see there's going to be an overlay of the shimmer of the gold in there. So we're going to leave this as is. I'll bring you guys in for a close-up after Melissa works on her painting. So I'm going to put this camera on pause and we're going to get started on hers. All right, so we are going to be working on Melissa's painting now. So we've decided, are we going to stick with the same composition? Yeah, okay. I think that was a good idea. Okay, so off you go. This is interesting. I've never had anyone painting with me. So this should be fun. Well, and I mean, I'm painting with Canella, who's an expert at this. So... It's a little bit intimidating. Oh, we're good, we're good. Lucas did this with me once and he did pretty well, so I'm pretty sure you'll do just as well. I'll take that every, with your when you're done. Yeah, so every, we have got a full house here and uh, they all arrived around Friday afternoon and uh, tonight we're going out for dinner and we'll be uh, celebrating Carol's birthday and uh, going out for dinner tonight and everyone will head out uh, tomorrow. Um, so yeah, it's been quite fun. The kids have had a blast with their cousins. Oliver and Riley are here and uh, the dogs are happy to see everybody too because it's been a while since they've seen the crew. Oh, I like the way that looks with the gold. Looking good. We shall see. We shall see. It's all about the blowout. This is a nice color. I would load this one on. Yeah. Give that one a nice squeeze. This is a pretty. That's a really... The Artezas will always leave a beautiful shimmer when it's dry, which is why I really like using these new Arte Arteza colors um, because they definitely leave a really great shimmer when the painting is dry especially if you're using a dark base like a, a black base or a really dark blue base they're really pretty all right I'll get you the where's the torch oh, over there let me get the torch all right pop those bubbles how did it get over here did i put that there you had to move everything to oh <laughs> i don't remember putting it there And then let's, uh, here's your trusty tool. Oh, good. <clears throat> so what I would do is I would start here in the center and I would blow this puddle this way at least, and then just keep going and then go, 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 go. And then you're wispy at the end. All right. And I go on low. On low. Yep. The first one. Yep. And then I would hit it right here and go out. 
So we've got a lot of cells happening in here, which is super pretty. Now up to you, but I would blow a little bit of this into the white just yeah. to kind of get this little puddle out here. Mm -hmm. But look at the cells that have formed in this. I'm loving. And I actually, I would never do a color palette like this. It's not my colors, but it's actually really, really pretty. It's so, very earthy. Right? Yeah, so, earthy. Yeah. I really like it. Yeah. 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 Good choice on colors. Well, yeah. she's expert on color palettes. So I just put what I think looks pretty, but... She I'm, methodically put this together. <laughs> I'm going to give a little blow yep, here. Yep. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's so nice. Is there anything else you want to touch? I actually really like the way it is. Well, you're the expert, right? I like it. I'm just... No, I like it. I wouldn't touch any of this because you've got these really pretty cells happening yep. on the edges of all your petals. And I think the only thing I may, if it was mine, I would blow a little, a little bit, bit of this. Because you see how it goes like a straight line? Yeah. You kind of want to give it a little bit. Yeah. So what we have here is Lucas's, where is it? Somewhere around here. Lucas's, or was somewhere around here. Someone stole my Thomas stool. Where's my stool? Oh, it's my gosh, it's right behind me. <laughs> oh, so up you go. And I would carefully, without getting your lady lady bits in there. My lady bits. And or your necklace. Or my necklace. I'll hold that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got it. And I will just up there. There you go. Now you have a design a little bit of the night and there we go so we are going to touch up our edges and we will be right back for both close-ups be right back all right everybody so let's get to the close-up with the studio lights on and then we shall turn them off to get the shimmer factor but so melissa and i were talking so melissa is going to uh embellish her painting with uh some sort of what um, what did we call it? Some sort of desert type plant or flower. Right. Yeah. So because we're thinking, she said Southwestern theme. So she's going to embellish her piece once it's dry and add her little beautiful artistic touch to it. So that's my piece. And then here, check this out. So I told her I'm going to steal her paint color palette and I'm going to try this myself. This is gorgeous. You can already see the shimmer in there from the 24 karat gold and I haven't even turned off the lights yet so this is going to be really really interesting when the lights are off but uh we're going to wait for this to dry and she's going to take it home and embellish it and then when she's done with it um we I will show you guys in an upcoming future video what her finished dried results are and then if anyone is interested in it you can email her at what was it? Melissa Siraco at hotmail.com. There you go. Melissa Siraco at hotmail.com. And then she had a great idea here. So I have this negative white space here in the center. And since I have my new Cricut machine, if anyone is interested in this piece as is, you can purchase it as is. Or if you'd like me to put something in the center, maybe your name, your family's last name, maybe live, love, laugh, anything we can put here in the middle and then I can uh, resin it after that and then it'll be ready to go. So you have an option there on this piece to fill in this white negative space or you can purchase it as is. If someone wants to purchase this one as is, I'm sure Melissa would be fine with that too. But if you want her to embellish it with a, it with a flower of some sort, you can also um, buy it that way. So uh, let us know in the comments below and if you're interested then just email us and then that way we won't touch it or we will touch it. All right so I'm going to turn off the studio lights and we'll get the flash on and we'll check out that shimmer. All right so it is daytime here in the basement. I've got my flash on and whoa boy look at that. This is going to be stunning when it dries. So that is courtesy of the metallic cobalt blue. Actually, I had a lot of shimmering paints in here. The iridescent green by Pebeo, the 24 karat gold. There's a lot of shimmer in this. So this is going to be gorgeous. So as I mentioned, buy it as is or ask me to put a saying in the middle. I'll, I'll love to use my new Cricut machine and uh, start embellishing some of my pieces. All right, check this out. 
Look at this. I love the iridescent blue black. That would be that color right there. It adds super depth to this piece. I'm really loving these colors, Mel. Oh, so pretty. Can you see that? Yeah, it looks great. Wow. This is gonna dry nicely. Super nice. Look at that. All right, let's turn the lights back on. All right, everybody, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video with my sister, Melissa. And um, like I said, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the description below or feel free to email us, melissasiraco at hotmail.com or canelasiraco at gmail.com. And um, yeah, everything you need to know is listed in the description below. So discounts to a whole bunch of uh, companies, Loli Vefi, Crystal Resin, Arteza discounts, everything is in the description below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank for you. For, I had me. to kind of coax her to do the video. I'm like, come on, come do like a, a video, video with me. <laughs> so, and then her mom got in there. She's like, come on, Melissa, do a video. And I she's like, eight, okay. Eight, year, eight years old again. Like, yeah, telling, having her mom telling her what to do. Box, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, but I got her in here and I'm glad I did. It was a yeah. new experience. You know, I've been doing this for all, over three years and I've never had her in any of my videos. So, it's nice to have you here and I appreciate it. So thank you so much, sis. No, so thanks for teaching me a little bit more about anytime, Dutch boy. Man. We'll do more Love in the it. future. Yeah. Awesome. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.